Action News has him. So far, so good. Don Johnson, then and now, tonight on Action News at 11. A battle rages on Capitol Hill tonight over banning the savage slaughter of defenseless animals for sport. It's a popular attraction, and even some well-known Hollywood stars have taken to the hunt. So, should it be banned? We warn you, parts of this video may be difficult to watch. But as Doug Bruckner reports tonight, you are the jury. You're watching what critics call the canned hunt, and it's completely legal. I'll get you there. The animals are trapped inside fenced areas so that weekend warriors can stalk and butcher them for sport. This is not a sport. It's despicable. These guys think they're heroes. They're nothing but cowards. They are the epitome of cowardness. It's a hunt the hunter can't lose. In fact, at most places, if you don't kill your prey, you don't have to pay. This is a sadistic act. This is a bunch of sick people that are out there enjoying seeing another animal being tormented, tortured, and killed. These guys ought to try being a man in the bedroom. That's where they're lacking. Even Hollywood stars have gotten into the act. This secret video captured Delta Burke's husband, Gerald McCraney, sitcom star of Major Dad, and TV tough guy Marshall T, honey wild boar. Because I've seen these things come after people, and it, it ain't pleasant. The gutless game begins with the help of a guide who arms the hunter with a gun and a spear. Then the dogs are let loose to follow the scent of the animal. The scared pig is surrounded and frozen in place by the pack of dogs. Shoot him in the head when I tell you to. Not now, not now. Not now, not now. Not now. After the animal is shot and wounded, the executioner goes in for the kill. What's on in that rope? They even bring the kids along for some family fun and take pictures with their trophy. Look up, Marshall. <laughs> I love it. Most celebrities, I think, will spend their vacations skiing in Colorado or sunbathing in a tropical resort. It's simply appalling that people who probably have money to vacation anywhere in the world would spend their leisure time stabbing and killing tame, fenced-in captive animals. Animal rights activists say there are as many as 3,000 of these private preserves in the U.S. You gotta remember where a lot of these animals come from. A lot of them will come from zoos. It's uh, the overpopulation of zoos. They take their surplus animals or the older animals, lions who've never even been out of a cage, and they'll sell them to uh, dealers who turn around and sell them to these uh, hunting ranches. There's even a published price list. Wild boar, $325. Barbary sheep, $600. An elk, $3,000. We didn't have much luck getting the celebrities to give their side of the story on their day on the preserve. A spokesman for Gerald McCraney says he hasn't hunted wild boar in years. The fun for animals was not given any date on the footage showing the actors. McCraney and Marshall Teague could not be reached for other comment on the video. Animal rights groups claim that African animals are sometimes hunted on these types of preserves. Cameras are seldom allowed in, but you're getting this unauthorized view because some people got angry enough to make sure these hunters were caught. Caught on tape. I'd like them to try it on me, these big heroes. One at a time, I promise you, they wouldn't be the ones walking away. Let them squeal like a pig and cry and scream. It's a battle that's being fought in Congress, but tonight we want your opinion. In a special phone poll, we're asking, should these hunts be banned? To vote yes, the hunts are barbaric and should be banned, dial 1-900-737-6611. To vote no, the hunts are okay and should not be banned, dial 1-900-737-6622. Remember, each call costs 50 cents, and you must be 18 or older. We'll repeat the numbers in a moment, and we'll have the results for you on Monday.